everybody, this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles, and I'm so excited to be back. On this exciting video, I'll be showing you some amazing boxes, containers, and storage for your fabulous jewelry. These are items that I find at the thrift store, yard sales, flea markets, adonde quiera, which is wherever. And I think it's a great way to store your jewelry because I think they're just amazing. And I want to show you a few of my fabulous container storage and boxes for my incredibly beautiful jewels. So if that's something that you're interested, stay with me and watch the rest of this exciting video on storage containers and boxes for your fabulously beautiful, gorgeous jewelry. So without further delay, let's just get this video just been so inundated with just activity these last few weeks. Uh, my stepdaughter from Germany came and visited me and with that she brought a lot of my daughters and her friends from Long Island and I had a house full of young ladies and I just loved it so much because it made me feel so good and so young to see these girls that I've known their whole entire lives. And then I took a trip to Puerto Rico and I didn't share with this before with you, but um, I'm gonna share with you now. Um, my mother passed away in September. And this is after my best friend passed, and then my partner passed, and then my mother passed, all within about a year and a half of each other. And um, last year was really, really a struggle for me. And um, I had to go to Puerto Rico to uh, see the new headstone that was placed on my father's and hers um, burial site. I just wanna thank everyone for all their well wishes. Um, it has been probably the most traumatic year of my life. And the only way I got through it is doing these videos and sharing my knowledge and my ideas, keeping myself busy with uh, acquiring new jewels, reading books and history, and pulling these videos together. It really, really is what saved me this last year. And um, I, was, I'm a little, I was a little hesitant to share this information with you, but I, 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 I felt like I needed to thank each and everyone out there for all your support. I'm so excited to do these videos for you. And it's the one thing that really saved me through all the grief that um, I had last year. So thank you, thank you, thank you. On a more positive note, um, I got the idea for this video because I was out in the wild and I found this amazing container. This container is made with brass and copper and it looks like it was handmade. And it almost has the motif of a beautiful, fabulous pillow. A pillow that a tiara can sit in or a pillow that a groom's and a bride's ring can, can lay in. Whatever the case may be, I just thought it was an amazing container and I wanna show you what I have inside. So in this container, I put these two amazing necklaces. And you know, when I go out in the wild and I look for the containers, I, find, I, I like to find things that are unique and different. And in this case, this container has probably an Indian motif and these are two Mexican necklaces. These are Milagros necklaces, which one day I would like to share with you a little bit more about them. But I love the way this looks inside these containers. And anytime that I spot this container, I know exactly what's inside it. It's these two fabulous necklaces. And I might even be able to fit maybe one or two more other necklaces. And that's the other reason why I love these containers, because they're compact. And because I own a lot of jewelry, I have to be very, very careful about piling too much jewelry on top of each other. These containers are a great way to protect your jewelry and also look amazing and fabulous, but they're also great because 
it lets you know what's inside. So it's a quick, easy way to find some of my jewelry. And because I have a vast collection, that becomes really, really important. Here is another recent container that I purchased at the thrift store for like, I think $3.99. And I knew exactly what it was right away. This is an E. Saint Laurent container. And what I decided to put in this container, which is in the idea, uh, in the fashion of an Asian motif, it has the color of cinnabar and lacquer, which is very, very reminiscent of Japanese lacquerware, and it has this cute, adorable tassel and what I decided to put inside this container all my designer perfume necklaces including this Halston including this Tory Burch and this is Giorgio Armani and um, this is Chloe and of course I'm going to put the exact match which is the Yse Laurent perfume necklace this goes up and down and inside is supposed to be a bottle of perfume, which I have. And look at that. How exciting. And so when I look for these containers, I always try to match it up with things that I already have. And in this case, I knew that this was, this was actually one of my favorite, favorite finds. It was something that I wished out there into the universe. And I actually found it for like, I don't know, I forget how much I paid, but it was under $10. And look at the matching mama set. And so every time I'm looking for any of my necklaces, my designer perfume necklaces, I know exactly where they are in this Yves Saint Laurent um, container. And isn't, I just, I think it's just so cute. And I just, I, I put it on, I lay it on top of some books that I have and it looks absolutely adorable. Love it, love it, love it. Along the lines of the Yves Saint Laurent Japanese container, I have here an actual authentic Japanese container that is made with that special cinnabar lacquer. Now look at the inside of this container, OMG. It's the inside that matters more to me than anything else because it's so fabulous. And look at the tiny little legs. And when I spotted this, I knew I had to have it. And in the Japanese lacquer container, I put this amazing, gorgeous uh, uh, carnelian museum necklace with gold, um, with a gold pendant. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And doesn't it match up really, really beautiful with this container? So whenever I get these containers, I always try to match up the jewels with the container in some way, shape, or form. It helps me remember where things are. And again, anytime I'm looking for this necklace, I know exactly where it is. And the inside looks very, very mod. I just, I just think it's fabulous. And I'm so excited to have found it. This box might remind you a little bit of the Japanese containers, the lacquer, but it's not. This box is actually made in Italy. And it says that right at the back here. It says made in Italy. And this is a genuine leather box. And when you open it up, it has a tan leather. And I just love just the way that this container looks. It has that old school quality to it. And at one point I housed all of my cufflinks here because to me this container looked a little on the masculine side, but then my cufflink collection was overgrown and I could no longer keep it in this box. So right now what I have in this container is three museum quality necklaces. These are actual museum pieces. And Perfect would it be to have those museum Romanesque necklace as part of this box. Check out this next container. This has a, a Elsa Peretti bean motif to it. And what I like about it is that it has that mod feel, um, very, very 1970s. And inside I have this beautiful necklace. I thought that these little stations here kind of has that look of the container. And so that's why I decided to put it in here. So I always try to, to keep pieces that I like to wear together together. 
and to put it in this little container is fabulous. Here are some more containers. And I actually found these separately. I found these two together separately and then I found this, but I think it looks great all together like this, doesn't it? And let me show you what I have in these containers. In this silver box, I have these amazing hinges, and I think the hinges gives it an elevated look. And if you look on the inside, it has perfect, perfect royal purple um, velvet to help um, to help keep the jewels untarnished. And what I have in this container, check this out. I believe this is the upper arm uh, cuff. And, or you can even wear it just like like that too if you want but it has this turquoise stones and these faux um, coral for the eyes and it's a snake and I just love 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 snake jewelry and in the inside it says made in Italy if it didn't say that I would have totally thought that this was probably perhaps maybe even Mexican so it's nice to get those stamps because it really tells you where things are from but it fits so nicely in this container and if I ever were to find another one of those I think that I have enough room to put perhaps one or two more in here now, this I think is a contemporary piece it has these beautiful beautiful bezeled glass with these teeth um, holding the glass down um, I believe this was from anthropology and on the bottom if you look at the price tag and this this box was $32 and I only paid maybe like $4.99 for these boxes I don't really pay a lot of money for them um, but look how beautiful this whole design is and these boxes you can find them in the wild you know pretty easily and a lot of times you see them in gold they're actually called casket boxes because they kind of look like a casket and what I love about this one in particular is that it has the glass so you can see exactly what's inside and just really quickly I want to show you I have one two three Italian Etruscan bracelets and some matching earrings and I love that I have the ability to put it all together in one container and one day I got to show you these pieces because they are quite amazing this is so so beautiful and this is handcrafted in India because it's stamped on the bottom which is great it has these fabulous fabulous hinges and they're almost exactly alike but not quite if you really look at them they have two different distinct motifs and I just I just think that they're incredible now let me show you what I have inside this one this one I have these incredible bracelets that sort of match the motif of the box and I don't have anything in this box yet um, but I plan to store something in there quite shortly so here are four fabulous boxes made with some sort of aluminum alloy represé and I just think that these are stunning. You know, as I was filming this, I, I didn't want to leave that container empty so I decided to go into my jewelry box and find some amazing jewels and see how these would fit into that box because it has very similar motif so I, I just couldn't I just couldn't leave it empty so let's give this a try let's see if this fits in there I'm not sure oh my god oh my gosh it fits perfectly yes 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 now I found new jewels that would go into this container. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Yes, 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 yes. It's beautiful, it's perfect. And I'm so glad that I put something in these containers because I get an obsessive compulsive stuff going on in my brain and I can't just, just leave things empty like that, you know what I mean? So I'm so excited. So here are two more containers 
that I found at the thrift store. And let me tell you, aren't these incredibly detailed and just fabulously gorgeous? I am in love with these containers. You have one that's predominantly on the gold side, and then you have one that's predominantly on the silver side. This has an amazing peacock uh, motif, and this one has a gorgeous, gorgeous mogul, um, mogul tile uh, motif and both of them are just incredible so let me show you what i put inside these two containers so voila isn't this incredibly gorgeous i put in here a necklace that has that mogul look to it and it almost matches perfectly with the box and there's this is a two-sided necklace and it has these incredible um, quartz beads and uh, these red simulated ruby beads in the mogul style. And check it out. I also put these Indian inspired earrings inside this container. And I also have this necklace that is just fabulous. And I even forgot I had this necklace and it goes well with the green on the outside of the container. And all of this fits very, very nicely inside this box. Oh, look at this. Isn't that super beautiful? So when you're out there in the wild, you know, don't pass these containers up. They house your, your jewelry magnificently. It, elevates the jewelry to a whole other level so when you take this jewelry out and of this beautiful beautiful box it just makes it look like you you have a treasure trove that's fit for a maharaja I, I just i love it i love it i love it so let's check out what's in the other box I'm, i don't even remember what i have in here so this is going to be uh, almost like opening up a christmas gift in christmas um Oh, wow, yes. Look what I have here. Talk about sparkly jewelry. Oh my gosh. Just look at the way that this necklace sparkles. That's right, this is my sparkle. And honestly, my sparkle jewelry is outgrowing this box because I have several new pieces of sparkly jewelry and um look at this look at this i just i keep pouring it out and it's like wow just so nice so so nice i have to find a new container for my jewels because i am I just I just can't fit them in this box anymore. So I've outgrown this box already. So I'll have to find and keep in mind when I'm out there in the wild, any containers that will be fit for some fabulous crystals. I have a whole bag full of other crystals that I want to keep all together in one container. So I'm going to be looking out for, for it. So here are my Maharaja mogul inspired Indian aluminum foiled enamel gorgeous, fabulous boxes. So check out my next box collection. And this is truly a collection. I started finding these boxes and now I'm obsessed with looking for them in the wild. And these are vintage retro velvet jewelry boxes. And, and, and they come in all different sizes and all different colors. And I'm very particular about the ones that I find. I want them to be velvet. I don't care what color they are. They can be pink, fusia, maroon, black, beige, white. It doesn't matter to me. I just love this sort of velvety look to them. And it has to have a gold band in the middle. And it can't have any class that, that messes with the style. Um, and so I have these three. And once you have three, that's the start of a collection. So this is definitely a collection. And I am gonna be looking out for more of these and so what I like about these is that when you open them up inside they have these little um, pockets 
where you can put certain things in. So in this case, I can put necklaces here and matching earrings, and that's what I'll be doing. Um, I just acquired this maybe a month ago. Check out what I have in this turquoise. It's my beautiful studded um, earrings. A lot of these earrings are, um, are clip-ons, but some of them are posts. And it's a nice way to put them all together. And I actually have a video on uh, some of the earrings that are in this collection. And let's open up and check out what's in this one. What do I have in here? Ah, I have my uh, cufflink collection. And my cufflink collection, I really need to do a video on that, that's for sure. I have plenty, as you can see. And they're all different styles and motifs and cufflinks are just amazing. And I wanna find new ways to use cufflinks. So if you have an interesting way to use your cufflinks, let me let me know. Just look how cute this is. Don't you love it? I do. Can't wait to find more colors. Just can't wait. The thrill of the hunt. They say that big things come in small packages and this is definitely an apropos statement for this box. This box is made of wood. It's done in an Italian style. It has these beautiful medallion um, and it's painted with gold foil. It's just the perfect size to house my mosaic souvenir Italian brooch collection. I also have, I think, some earrings and some bracelets and a little container. But look how fabulous this is. It just looks so good. I did a short video on my micro mosaics. Check it out. And I've since keep acquiring these um, souvenir pieces because I just think they're so beautiful. They're so colorful. A lot of them have like all these like flower motifs and I'm in love with flowers as you can see. This is an Italian wooden box with gold foil. It's perfect for my Italian souvenir mosaics. And they're just super duper fabulous and I love them. So check out this amazing Bad Mama Jamma. Oh, I was so into Victoriana and my heart still goes there sometimes in pieces like this. I just had to get this piece. First of all, I think I paid $15 for this piece that I just think is totally worth it. And it's actually hand painted roses and violets and um, on this porcelain so it's somewhat delicate. You gotta be careful. I have to be careful with it. It's signed. I don't know what the signature is, but it's 98. I don't know if that's 1898 or if I, I don't know if that's 1998. If any of you guys know which one it is, let me know because in the 90s, uh, Victoriana was very, very popular. This is a huge piece and that's why I love it so much and it goes so well with my bedroom. I have to be very careful, so let me, let me put this down. Let me show you what I have inside and it is my Fabergé A necklace collection and my Joan Rivers tennis bracelets. Now I just recently did a video on um, Joan Rivers Fabergé A's. I just love that video so much. It's one of my favorites so please go ahead and uh, check it out. Um, and so I haven't had time to individually package each and every one of those necklaces and that's the way I want to do it. And the reason why I thought this was a great, great container for the Fabergé egg necklace is because this sort of has like an Eastery springy motif. The egg sort of evokes that springy, you know, Eastery sort of connotation. And so I thought it was perfect. And it's also big enough to house my collection and after I bag individually each and every one of those necklaces I'm gonna need the space and so this is a perfect perfect place to put this um, um, necklaces and just look at it it's isn't it so beautiful love it love it love it when I find containers out in the wild, I don't discriminate what I look for. I look for metal containers. I look for glass containers. I look for wooden containers, lacquer containers, leather containers, 
wooden boxes, cardboard cardboard boxes. I look for bags. I look for off-site types of things that would house my jewelry so that I can easily find it and easily store it in beautiful different ways. When I saw this pretty soft pastel pink container, I just fell in love with it. It was so romantic and it was so beautiful and it was just the perfect thing that I was looking for to house, wait for it, my rose quartz collection. Now look at this container. It's perfect for my rose quartz. And I even have enough space to add to my collection without destroying it. Just look, look how pretty this is. This is pretty in pink. And I so, so love rose quartz. Now, I have it in all different shades of pink, uh, rock quartz. I have this huge, big quartz, and I even have quartz on bracelets. It's just, and wait a minute, I also have quartz on a brooch. So look at this, 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 this collection. It's so fabulous. And what's most fabulous is that I have this beautiful pink box and anytime i'm looking for rose quartz i know exactly where to go this box is by ralph lauren romance i bet again i found this in the wild and i think i paid just a couple of dollars for it so check out boxes of all kinds this is perfect 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 what is better than finding cheap inexpensive jewelry boxes in the wilds well, finding them free. And that's exactly what I found this jewelry box. And you won't believe it because this jewelry box, I saved from the dumpster. I actually went dumpster diving to get this box and it's absolutely free, but you won't even believe it. Check it out. This is an agate coffin. Uh, it's probably antique, amazing box. And it's so heavy, oh my God, you won't even believe how heavy this is. I won't even be able to, to keep it up because this is actually all stone. This is all made with stone with these brass fittings and it's filled to the brim with agate jewelry. So let's dig in. Oh God, let me put this down. Check out the agates in this <laughs> in this jewelry box. It is just filled with different types of agate jewelry. It's so incredibly beautiful. I'm so excited about it that I have to do a video. And in fact, I have a book that I bought just because of this box and it's called Agate. Um, it's a book only on agate and so i'm going to learn a little bit more about this agates that i have here i'm not even sure all of these are agates but i think they are anyway nonetheless this is an amazing fabulous box filled with agate jewelry and i got it for free so when you're looking out there for your jewelry boxes don't pass up a fabulous box from the dumpster. That's where I got this amazing, super duper heavy, and this better not fall on my foot because it would totally break it. I think there's about 20 pounds in here, maybe more, maybe 30 pounds. I don't know, but it's super heavy. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to put this down. So give me a minute, okay? Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Guess what, guys? Talking about that dumpster dive that I did to salvage that agar box. I remember I saw it was another jewelry box from the dumpster. You guys won't even believe this, but I actually <laughs> salvaged this amazing casket jewelry box that is just, oh, so incredibly beautiful. This was salvaged from the dumpster. And look at this. And I haven't seen one this big before, and it's probably worth a pretty penny. But guess what I just realized? Remember how I was complaining about my uh, crystals? I think 
the crystals should go in this box. Let me take a look and see how that will look in the casket box. I gotta dust it and clean it and stuff like that. Oh, we'll take a look anyway, okay? What do you guys think? You think the, the, the crystals should go in this box? I think I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna clean this box up, get the rest of those crystals, put them in here, and I think it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm so, so excited. This is a fabulous, fabulous, video because I'm changing things up a little bit and now I got to find some pieces that are going to go in here but check it out another dumpster dive so definitely definitely don't poo poo your dumpster dives because I got two fabulous boxes from the dumpster another amazing way to store your jewelry is in these incredible wooden cardboard paper boxes and I find these at the 99 cent store. I find them at Savers. I find them at different location. I found this box, which is Indian made at the thrift store. And so, but look at how gorgeous they look. And again, because I have so much jewelry to pile jewelry up on top of it itself, it could really do some damage to your jewelry so it's nice to have these containers that you can put them in where it won't squash and get and and, and ruin your pieces but also it can help you locate them when you're looking for them so these are just incredible boxes and you can either um find ones that all matchy matchy or you can do what I do and get these colorful ones in different patterns and different designs. Um, and I store these in all different parts of my home because um, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to my jewelry. And, um, but I think it looks amazing in these containers. That's the last container that I'll be showing you. And it's certainly not the last because I have several other containers throughout my house that maybe I'll do a part two on. Um, but this is probably one of my most favorite containers. And I bought this at the thrift store. I think I paid like $25 for it. So it was a little on the pricey side. Definitely, definitely worth it. And it is, it's a little heavy. So it's this container right here. Now check it out. On top here has this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, crane motif with this uh, Japanese or Chinese. I'm not sure. Can somebody tell me what you think this is? I think it's Chinese. Um, um, and it's made with abalone and mother of pearl and it's lacquer. And it has, let me prop it up against this pillow. It has this really, really beautiful beautiful lever and I believe at one point it must have had um, a locket here which uh, maybe at some point I'll find something to replace it. It has my Chinese New Year necklace is one of my favorites it has all the animals of the Chinese Lunar New Year and it also has a pretty extensive large um, cinnabar collection. Here's some of the pieces here this one happens to be from the Smithsonian Institute. Look at how fabulous this set is. But check this out. I'm obsessed with Cinnabar. Check out some of my Cinnabar pieces. And that's why I love this piece here because look at that. It's just perfect, perfect, perfect for my Cinnabar. And I definitely, definitely have to do a video on my Cinnabar. So you can see some of my bangles here. But this also has some porcelain pieces. This is a porcelain dragon necklace. This is a cloisonne with cloisonne bangles. Check out these cloisonne bangles. I actually remember buying this one at um, the Hamptons. Check these out. And I'm going real fast. But honestly, these pieces are definitely deserving of its own video. So I don't want to just uh, show you all the pieces. I really need to show you the pieces by having... A video so beautiful 
sometimes I look at these pieces and, and I'm in, in amazement because it's like opening up birthday presents. It's so pretty. So this box has a lot of my Asian jewelry, my cloisonnés, my cinnabars, my porcelain. Um, it's just it's, it's just the perfect box for it because you know I do have an extensive uh, jewelry collection and this is gonna be able to be big enough to, to have it and I love it and I think it was definitely worth the price and with that um, I conclude my show-and-tell of my jewelry containers jewelry boxes and different ways that I store my jewelry um, to preserve it to protect it to help me identify it to help me organize um, to add some color to my my living spaces where I house some of these jewelry. I put some of these containers in my living room, such as this one it stays in my living room. I have other containers that go in my dining room, other containers that are in my bedroom. And it's a really nice way to store my jewelry in pretty practical places and, and ways and it's so inexpensive to find some of these containers out in the wild i've even found some um in the dumpster some real fabulous ones too so um and um i also had containers that my friends have given me as gifts because they know i'm a collector so when they have a beautiful container they give it to me i think i have enough containers that i could probably do a part two on this but i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video i really love putting it together it was sort of last minute i kind of threw it all together pulled some pieces from all over the house but i think that's the best way to do these types of videos sometimes um so let me know which one of these containers is your favorite and why and let me know if you're going to be out there um looking in the wild for these containers for your jewelry too i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did putting it together i'm really working on some other content i already have things in the works some really really exciting stuff so uh, please come back and watch my video again and if you're so inclined hit the subscribe button if you haven't already I'm almost to 750 subscribers, so that's big time for me. Um, can't wait to hit the 1,000 dot mark, and I hope to do a prize soon. It's just nice to know that there's some people out there who really genuinely care about me, who like my content. And so with that, let me not start rambling on and on and on and on, and just say, con todo mi corazón y mi amor, bye.